I'm going to talk for a few minutes about the biblical acceptable time because most people do not live in the acceptable time. The Bible tells us when to live and how to live and we need to spiritually retune ourselves to this. Here it is. It says in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2, Behold, and that means it loses a lot in just saying it. It means, hey, 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 listen, listen. And then it goes on. It says, now is the acceptable time. I pray that you're able to give your attention to the now and The past and the future loose their hold on you. Most people live in the past. Most people live in the future. And they lose living itself. The unchanging goodness of God fills your life in this moment. This present moment. By turning your attention within and entering into the silence of your being, you realize in this moment you are one with God. You rediscover all that is really present in this moment and that you have also come to another realization that is a sad realization that a lot of time has been wasted in life by either attempting to recapture some of the past or by projecting your thoughts and your hopes into some imagined future time. If during the day you find yourself thinking about the past, you remind yourself that all the joy And all the truth that you need is in the present moment. If thoughts about the future come and just beat you down, once again, you remind yourself that all the joy and all the truth that you need is in the present moment. In this manner, you learn to live in the now. You learn to trust God who forever has the perfect answer ready for you, moment by moment, in the now. You resolve to live with your attention right here and right now. And you're free from thoughts of the past. You're free from thoughts of the future.